Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. So yesterday on the show, we were talking about Raw and the third hour of that show. And I actually got some emails during the night as Raw is going on. I get emails all throughout the show. Sometimes more than others about certain things, but few people send me in this email and a couple of them were like, what is the main event of this show tonight? They had absolutely no idea what the main event was. And then, like a little while later, I got the email, oh my god, it's Miz and Morrison against Drew McIntyre in a handicap match. That's the main event of the show. So I watched the show, and as I talked about yesterday, I actually liked Miz and Morrison versus Drew McIntyre. Like, as a match, the last few minutes of the match I thought were very good. But I was watching the third hour of that show. All I could think was, dude, this hour is going to die. This hour is going to die. And I've thought about that before, and the third hour is done bad. But this, a new standard. Going against a strong NFL number with no notable thing that would increase the ratings. And it's not only that. Nothing announced during the show that would increase the ratings. Raw did its worst number of the Thunderdome era last night. 1.66 million viewers, 0.48 at 18 to 49. Both would rank among the lowest numbers in show history. The 18 to 49 number was the fourth lowest in the history of the show. Yes, you can say, well, it's better than AEW. Well, it's better than NXT. Dude, it's the fourth lowest of all time. Now, to be fair, and by the way, that's coming off uh, SmackDown on Friday, I think, did a .7 in 18 to 49. That makes the raw number even worse. Now, to be fair, this number was terrible, but this show was drastically dragged down by the third hour falling off a cliff. The first two hours were actually, for a raw show of late, they weren't that bad. 1.77 million first hour, so basically 1.8 million. 9 p.m. was 1.75 million, so basically 1.8 million. Both of those, I mean, stable. They barely dropped it all from hour one to hour two. But the death of the show was the third hour drop when the show fell from 1.75 million viewers to 1.46 million viewers. Okay, I think the previous low was like 1.54. The third hour, they fell from 1.54, the previous record low, to 1.46. That is a massive plunge. What did they have in the third hour? Nothing. What do you expect to happen? Now, I know that some people are going to say, well, see, Brian, there is a new rock bottom. Well, I mean, the reality is there's not a new rock. I mean, on average, this is where they're going to be. Yes, an hour could go below your 1.75 million or whatever. An hour here and there, a third hour is going to drop. But I still believe that on average, we're at the bottom of the barrel. Are we going to see a week here and there where it's abnormally low? Yes. Are we going to see an hour here or there that's 1.46 million? Yes. But on average, we still seem to be where we're at but my god that number is awful and i don't want to get on the guy but i mean i've been saying it for years miz he's not a main eventer and now they've put the money in the bank briefcase on him i don't think he's going to win the world title but i mean they i'm not gonna i'm I'm not saying this is gonna happen and it's like polling numbers for the election but there's A chance, there is a chance that Miz cashes in and wins the title from Randy Orton. We have Roman Reigns destroying Miz at Survivor Series, because why not? And you do the Drew McIntyre, Fiend, and Randy Orton three-way on Survivor Series. And the winner of that match, I guess, could go on and beat Miz and win the title. There is a slim possibility that they could do that but they could but my point is Miz anywhere near main events right now is not a strong idea
in my opinion. But we'll see. Any thoughts, Mike? Um, the biggest one is who's the main eventer? It, because Drew, after, Randy, the, the Fiend. Okay, you got there. You go, and there's your list. Okay, and, well they put Miz there, but it doesn't. Brian, it doesn't matter because after the first two hours of that show, I said that on Tuesday. I couldn't. They were so bad, and you had to pluck and really dig so hard for something that was good. And it apparently wasn't just me, except I kept the show on, and instead of turning it to, and I have no idea if the Buccaneers and Giants game picked up because that was going down to the the wire or where exactly these people went. But three hundred thousand people turned the show off or just turned on something else. I they don't have anything. They haven't built to anything. You reap what you sow, and these are the this is what they're getting. It doesn't matter that it was the Miz, and you're right. The Miz is not may not be a main eventer. Morrison may not be a may, certainly is not a main eventer with the way he's positioned. But everybody's been positioned in the same way, and I'm not going to hang this on the Miz. It could have been anybody there, and I'm not so sold on you know if it was Randy Orton or the Fiend out there at the very end that it still would not have lost significant numbers. Maybe not three hundred thousand. But, I mean, I don't even know what else to say. Well, that's I my just... point. They wouldn't have lost 300000 if they so had they would put have lost the maybe Miz because in the main the event. Thing. What you also can't say is they would have lost such an insignificant amount that they would have been closer to the 1.77. I, I, I don't believe that. Go ahead and tell me why it wouldn't have been 1.5 or 1.55 and then still break the record. They had nothing. They gave you nothing to latch onto to the third hour. It didn't matter who was there. They could have had, you know, God, Jesus, and Mr. McMahon all walk out there in the third hour. They didn't advertise If they would have had anything. God, Jesus, and McMahon in the third hour, it would have been a better hour than 1.46 million. I I'm not even sold you. on that at this point because I was told that it couldn't get any lower than about 1.6, and I, here's where we are right now. Well, it's not lower than 1.6. The overall it's view it was 1.6 million, Brian. One, the third one hour at 1.46 million. The average yeah, one is hour. still 1.6. They're it's still the averaging 1.7 million. It's one of the lowest hours in their history. You can't slide that to the side because, well, overall, we did. It I'm sound not like a sliding WWE it PR to the machine. side. Oh, well, you know, we, we averaged out pretty good. Your third hour lost 300,000 people. That's what we want yes. to hear about. Explain that one. I am explaining it. It's The Miz and Morrison in a handicap match. Well, in the main event. To Do it, you Brian. realize, by the way, that I think they actually knew that this was a bad idea? Because if you recall... They announced that match in the first hour. Morrison made the challenge, and they never advertised it again. That's why I got emails from people saying, what's the main event of the show? They hid it because they knew closing the show with Miz and Morrison versus Drew McIntyre was a bad idea. But yes, they didn't have anything else. Yes, there are a lot of problems. Yes, this number is a disaster. Yes, this is an all-time low. But... But the first two hours, we still are at 1.7, 1.8 million viewers for the average for the show. And if they have anything better, which I hope they do, then Miz and Morrison in a handicap match, the show is rarely going to do a number this low. That's my point. I don't want this Miz thing downplayed. Like, it doesn't matter who's there. It does matter. Miz and Morrison... A comedy geek. They're comedy geeks. And they're here in the main event of Raw, and they're hiding the match from us because they know how bad it's going to do. I think they thought, if people forget, maybe they'll think that the main event is going to involve The Fiend or Randy Orton, or there's going to be some confrontation. That's what they were hoping. But what happened was, people didn't know the main event, and so they stopped watching the show. Which shows you what kind of star power they have. There's no intrigue to it at all. It's like, uh, no, I'll just turn it off. <laughs> Pathetic. It, it really is. It's sad. And it's also sad that, you know, maybe you can plan this stuff out a lot better and plan these stories a lot better and put people in better positions if you didn't get done wrapping up the show at 745 to put it on the air at 8. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. 
Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.